What's up, bread army? Oh, wait, that doesn't sound right. Beard army, that's it. Actually, bread army would be a good phrase for your followers. I might start calling you Mrs. Bread. You've got to be at least 30% starch by now. <laughs> I'm in danger! Anyway, I'm rambling. This video is long overdue. It's been a long time since I ate Indian food, or more specifically, food from the Indian subcontinent. And a lot of people have asked me to do Indian food again lately. I think in no small part, due to the fact that Ramadan is in full swing. In fact, it's about to end, I think, this Tuesday or Wednesday with uh, Eid. So if you've been observing Ramadan, if you're celebrating Eid, I hope you have a great time and uh, hope you eat lots of delicious food. I know I'm about to. Anyway, we've got a straight behemoth of an Indian banquet here with all kinds of goodies on. I'm gonna throw a calorie count up on screen right now. Guessing it's about 10,000. But without further ado, this is Beard Meets Food and this is the ultimate Indian banquet challenge. I think this is the third time I've done it now. 3.0, Indian banquet with a vengeance. Who's gonna? All right, what do you reckon, about one hour? Yeah. Seems reasonable, it is a huge play. Anyway, let's kick off with some of the uh, delicious starters. That's my favorite part of uh, an Indian meal. Usha! What's up, Bid Army? Welcome back to another flipping video. Those are the bread. What's the prize? Yeah, unsurprisingly, she doesn't really eat Indian food apart from Indian bread. It would have been delicious, warm. Mm, I'm sure I've said that before at some point. People keep telling me I've got OCD because I eat like, each item at a time instead of mixing them together. I don't think it's true, though. If I had OCD, I wouldn't do this. Yeah, what an absolute renegade. Anyway, we're starting with the appetizers. No, these onion bhajis are a little bit burnt. I like onion bhajis so much, I've got two different types. But these are a little bit burnt now. Yeah, the first bhajis were a little bit toasty, fortunately. I had an ancillary portion waiting for me. These bhajis look a little bit softer. Yeah, those first bhajis were the dense, crispy ones, which are not without their charm. But I prefer these uh, yellow... Slightly soft, fluffy bargies. A knife and fork? You mean a spoon? Oh, it's curry with a knife and fork. Valid point. She did actually eat a potato curry once, like a spoonful. I don't want to deal with slices of lemon from these big Indian platters, but I've seen it online, seeing like Facebook pages where they've got like green chilies and, and wedges of lemon. No, I do not. Yeah, the lemon thing, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments by all means, but I think that might be a Pakistani tradition when they cook food on the tawa. When I say tawa, I mean T-A-W-A, -A, not T-O-W-E-R. I'm definitely gonna need some more sauce, so this is getting really dry. Yeah, at this point I notice a worrying lack of lubricants for that blanket-sized assortment of Indian breads. Well, it's my own fault. I like my curry quite dry. Quite dry, yeah. I don't normally have this much bread with the curry though. Oh, actually, this is Bombay potatoes. I knew I forgot this. It's not. It's quite saucy, but um, yeah, I knew I got Bombay potatoes. Um, right. I'm gonna attack some of the curry. I got my two favorite types of curry. Chicken Rogan Josh, I think. And uh, they just call this butter chicken, I think. Yeah, pronouncing the T sound has just gone out the window for some reason. Butter chicken, mate. Very aromatic. Aromatic, you say? I suppose it makes a change from repeatedly just saying delicious. He's came on, he's came on skewers for some reason. They don't come off the skewers very easily. <laughs> I'm gonna eat around the stick. I think that's generally the idea with a kebab anyway. <laughs> Mrs. Bid is a terrible cook. I mean, forget that. Wait a second. Forget the Elvis sandwich last week. That was fantastic, right? But generally, you're a pretty bad cook. Although, 
She cooks chicken. She doesn't eat chicken, but she cooks chicken. It's the best chicken I've ever had. She puts it in something. I don't think she'll tell me what the secret ingredient is. It's coated very lightly in something, but it makes it extra juice on the inside. I'm spitting truth, it's normally terrible. I always wonder with Indian food, when it's really red like this, is that tandoori? Oh, it, there's a certain word to describe that, that particular spice. People in the comments are going to be like, that's not real chicken, Rogan Josh. How can you get it so wrong? Those aren't Bombay potatoes, those aren't real barges. You don't know anything about Indian cuisine. I'm trying my best. Yeah, I'm sure all the know-it-alls will correct me. <laughs> Chicken kebabs, despite being a little bit tricky to eat, tasted are delicious. There's one last bhaji here. Yeah, the tandoori chicken kebabs were surprisingly good. They were really succulent and, uh, I'm gonna use that word again, aromatic, very smelly. Oh, that was great. But in a good way. Do we have any more sauce? Is there any pants? Is there any sauce left in there? We'll improvise. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna improvise. Well, by um, wiping that dry chapati in the Bombay potato juice, clearly. <laughs> the lack of sauce is my own fault, I'm not making excuses. I'm just gonna suck it up and take it like a man. I think these are parathas. I don't know if I've ever really figured out the difference between a chapati and a paratha. I think a paratha is slightly thicker maybe. Yeah, could be wrong on that count, but just an observation. If I'm gonna eat all this bread, I need some water. Actually, that's the point, you could help. I think one of these is garlic here. Yeah? You just had a crisp sarni, so you're not in a position to help. I can't believe she ate a crisp sandwich. I only got the poppadoms because she was watching. Couple of wedges of Peshawari naan, which I think has coconut in. I'm guessing here, that, that, that might not be right. Wait, wait, I did just Google this. It contains nuts and fruit, sometimes sultanas. I think that's my favorite thing about Indian food is you just dig in with your hands. It's dirty, greasy, tons of bread, tons of flavor smelly but in a good way delicious oh, these peshwari nans are really nice <laughs> a garlic nan <laughs> it's like a grandma made out of garlic I'm going to see my garlic nan later <laughs> She really, really loves garlic. <laughs> yeah, ask Lindsay to spell naan bread and she'll spell it with one A. I'm sure of it. Right, I'm gonna move all the decorative lemons and conveniently chilies to the side. I don't have to eat the chilies, do I? I only put them there for a little bit of colour. You wouldn't eat the bay leaf. If I keep making terrible videos, we'll be getting a visit from the bay leaf. <laughs> bay leaf. <laughs> Watch my video, please. <laughs> right, shut up, I need to concentrate. If I'm gonna get all these dry ass chapatis down, I'm gonna need some kind of sauce, so I'm gonna, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, I'm just gonna smash through the chapatis. We've got a mixture here of just regular chapatis, parathas, different types of naan bread, just cut into like, I don't know, slices, triangles, oh my, just for presentation purposes, I'm just spreading the, the rice around now, I'm trying to get the moisture off the rice, not that, you know, rice is particularly moist, but anything will do at this point, I'm about to crack open the lassie, I think, I just want to get to these desserts, because Indian desserts are mad, they're delicious, but they're just weird, you can help me out with the poppadoms. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Right, what I am going to need to do is I'm going to crack open the lassie. Crack open the wee lassie. Oh, that was embarrassing. I wanted to look really manly. It's alright, I just needed some more purchase. <laughs> My hands are greasy. Right, so lassie, mango lassie, probably the most well known. Definitely would have. <laughs> One of my favourites. It's basically like a. To me, it's a cross between a milkshake and a smoothie. Because it's kind of almost yogurt like. It tastes a bit like a Yakult. Or like an Actimel or something. Delicious. You know, those bull health yogurts. Pardon my French. I'll bleep it out, it's cool. I bleeped it, you heard it. So if anyone's watching from YouTube, this channel is still fairly child friendly. I can never actually tell if lime pickle tastes good or not. It's not sweet, it's not. Savory, really, it's, it's, it's odd. Yeah, I think the word I'm looking for there is bitter. It's not quite savory, not quite sweet or salty, but it is bitter. For that reason, I don't really know what you're supposed to put lime pickle on. I know you normally have it with poppadoms, but I always preferred mango chutney or raita, <clears throat> some kind of mint sauce or something sweet, to be honest. A delicious swig of lassi will help, though. <sighs> this is going to be a long video. The Indian milky drink, not the dog, of course. But yeah, you're right, this is a long video. Was it? I think it's gonna be like 16, 17 minutes long. But yeah, I've done a lot of short ones lately, so. <sighs> Hopefully, you enjoy it nonetheless. Alright, the lemon and the chilies don't count. It's dessert time. Still time, still plenty of time. Alright, these boxes are here. So I can read the names of uh, each of these desserts. So this one. Is Gajara Gajar Halwa. That's bad. I'm not sure what this is. It looks a little bit like rice. It's not rice. I did some research. It's carrot. What? Which sounds weird, I know, but stick with me. <laughs> that is rich. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, my initial reaction is a little bit mixed, but it was really good. It's kind of like uh delicious. Just say delicious! It reminds me a little bit of a, like a suet pudding. It's kind of heavy like a suet pudding. Totally different though. But I think it has coconut in there. I think there are some uh, some nuts in here as well. It's delicious though, really rich, really sweet. I think it just started raining. But yeah, it's really, um, it's Moorish. I could totally see myself just sitting down with like a huge bowl of this. And, just eating it. Yeah, to be fair, I have that problem with a lot of foods, but this stuff was really Moorish. Yeah, next we're gonna do gulab jam, which I have actually had before. It's weird because they're essentially these little, they look like the snitch from Harry Potter, but in, in dough form. They look just like little pancake balls, like Abel Skeevers or something like that, but they're actually really, really, really dense. So they're like 90 grams each, mm. which is, that's more than a Krispy Kreme donut. I think that's twice as much as a Krispy Kreme donut. When you get them in the uh, in the, in the the package, you're like, oh, this is super heavy. It's because they're absolutely drenched in this um, fatty syrup, which tastes delicious, but I get the feeling isn't particularly good for you. It feels like somebody's just let out the grease traps at a bakery or something. Yeah, gulab jam, I'm pretty sure should be a new chemical element because six of these tiny little balls have 1300 calories in them. No word of a lie. They're really, they're delicious, but they're really quite sickly. So at this point, I'm not full. It's, it's kind of hard to eat them without puking. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, every time you put one of these in your mouth, there's like an explosion of kind of fatty liquid, which is delicious, but gross at the same time. It's hard to explain. Now we've just got what they call rasa malai, 
This one is served cold. I don't know, it feels like cheese curds or something. It's weird, it tastes like a sweet omelette. If you can imagine that. Yeah, the rasamalai was not good. I, I, I don't want to eat this again. It did, it just tasted like a wet, sweet omelette, like eggy All right. and sweet. Forget to pop it on. They're just crisps anyway. Yeah, I'm sure somebody out there is going to complain about the poppadons. I mean, this, this is like six and a half kilos of food or something ridiculous. So if anyone complains about the poppadons, shame on you. I know I fail fairly frequently, but I'm counting this as, as a win. If I get the lassie down. Anyway, I know a lot of people have been watching my videos throughout Ramadan. So hopefully this is a well-timed video. Some people say it helps with the fasting, but the overwhelming majority, I think, probably want to just torture me with rusty razors or something. <laughs> this is a mixed food and that was the ultimate Indian banquet challenge. Catch you next time. <sighs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. No post credit sequence this week. But uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you for Thursday night's video.